It's great to be with you on a Monday afternoon. And David Aldridge is standing by for our pregame. Hey, Kevin. A little patience indeed. That's interesting. Thank you, David. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Round the small four with Tatum holding down the four spot. Walker in smart, the guard. And it's Thompson in at the five down low. And for New York, Barrett and Randall are in the forward position. Rose is out there with Reggie Bullock. And it's Gibson in at the center. Here's Rose. Now the dish to Gibson. To the wing on the left. Now here's Bullock. Guarded by Smart. Here's Gibson. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop, and then you gave it right back. Now here's Smart. Tatum looking around. No good that time. Now the Knicks take it the other way. The number three pick back in the 2019 draft. RJ wanted to play for the Knicks. He knew it wouldn't be easy with all the turmoil last season. Boy, was that an understatement. So it's the Celtics now. After New York gets the three. To the inside. Thompson. And it's Thompson with the jam. Oh, impressive ball handling from Tatum. I mean, it attracts the other team's focus and it finds the open man. Rose dishes to Barrett. Thompson with the rebound. Even when the D is playing off of him, the mid-range jumper shouldn't be the shot they're looking for. Smart passes to Thompson. Can't get it to fall, and he's missed the second after making his first. Rose against Walker. The kick out to Rose. There's the triple. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Oh, uses the threat of his drive to create looks from deep. Rose is such a smart offensive talent. And here is Tatum. Outside, Walker. Shoots the three. No good on the last second attempt there. And so it's New York with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. We'll return shortly. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Knicks? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, they really got after it. I mean, they made life extremely difficult for the shooters, which is why they hold this lead. Greg, you've always said to have a winning team, you need franchise players. Talk about the specific qualities you look for in those superstars that can catapult a team to greatness. It's a great question, Kevin. Talent really isn't enough. You know, whether you lead vocally or by example, the agenda has to be winning, and your best players really define who your team is is going to be so the franchise caliber player is a much needed asset and now brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go let's reset our lineups oh that was an impressive throw down that's this guy is a fantastic athlete Barrett looking like a man on a mission with that slam Richard passes to Fournier buries the long range jumper Fournier's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. And there's the pass to Noel. Shades over Fournier. Here's Robinson. And the dunk by Robinson. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he does, and the defense has to be aware of this. When you don't put a body on him, you pay the consequences. Outside Williams, there's Brown with the three. Good, great play by Williams to set it up. Brown's got five points so far. Well, how about the quickness of that release? Brown just draining that catch-and-shoot jumper with ease. Barrett dishes to Robinson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. 
First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Both teams deciding to change it up. That one misses. Celtics trail by three. Smart on the wing. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. And slam dunk by Tatum. Oh, nice look there from Smart. Finding the open man. The Knicks have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Rose scanning the floor. Puts it up from 17, and that's off the glass and in. Rose has got his second basket. I mean, that's almost effortless for Rose. Defenses can't be pleased that they allowed that look. And a close game so far through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jets. But let's talk about that. New York holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They have a narrow three-point lead. Kenny, how'd you see it? Well, they've been great at creating good shots on a consistent basis. It's that simple. You win the game by easier baskets than your... And that'll... And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Kind of like what Derrick Rose has done in this case. And even with the defense shading towards him on every trip down, he still finds a way to come up big. He's so good at reading opportunities and seizing up on whatever the defense gives up. Filling out the wings are Bullock and Barrett. Taj Gibson is out there with Julius Randle. And it's Rose in at the point. That's the five for New York right now. And it's Rose with the ball for New York. It's a one-point game. Handle outside. The kick out to Rose. From deep. Randall no good. There's Brown with the three. That shot misses. And New York will come the other way. Yeah, and Derrick Rose coming with a new beginning after knee injuries derailed his career. He said, look, if load management had been around back then, he might still be a Chicago Bull. Walker's shot is off. New York's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Pass to Barrett. And Barrett slams it in. Well, Rose will generate points in any situation. Here he does it by feeding a wide open man. Walker the pass to Tatum. That falls. Nice feed that time from Walker. Tatum's got five points so far. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Walker against Rose. And again, it's New York. Now, when you're a vet like Rose, you figure out ways to score inside, even as a guard. Austin's gone three of seven tonight from three-point territory. Outside Tatum. Nineteen seconds left to play in the third. Bucket is good. Seven points in the game. Attacking the painted area. That's where Tatum can use his height and length most effectively. Rose with the ball. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. It's a tie game in New York. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports.
Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. And a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. Fournier out there with Jason Tatum. Then it's Williams. Then they're smart, and it's Pritchard in at the point. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. And here's Tatum for three. And again, Boston with the triple. Reminding us again why he's one of the game's great clutch shooters. New York trailing to the paint. There's Noel. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. A clutch play there. No reason to risk the jumper when you can get to the rack. No, no. He's reading the defense, sensing the opening. But he doesn't hesitate. And slam dunk by Tatum. And refusing to let the defender alter his shot. Tatum's focus and drive is what helps him finish hard shots. There's the lob to the hoop. And Toppin throws it down. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. 109 left in the fourth quarter of this one. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And, of course, the Celtics traded back from number one to number three to draft Tatum in terms of readiness and absolute stick. the game up. The Knicks making a switch here. Robinson's checked in and a change for the Celtics. Ron's checked in and so making both free throws. That'll give them the lead here. And really the tension could not be higher right now and he looked like he was shooting free throws at practice. What a cool custom. Mr. Burks. Here's Robinson. Four on the clock. It's up a three. Second shot opportunity. He can't get it to go. Good tee by Williams. Fournier with the ball. And Rose picks him up defensively. There's the feed to Tatum. Back to Fournier. Hands the three. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. That's why they put the ball in his hands. They know they could count on him to make crucial shots. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Jason Tatum. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success time out, time out. shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I listened to Tom Thibodeau talking to his team during the break. He said, we've got to pick it up right here, right now. If we're going to win this game, we have to take control. This is the time. Kevin. 29 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Barrett. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That's on Jalen Brown. The, the energy Barrett plays what puts defenders on their heels. He, he's really good at forcing the opposition's hand. He drops the first one, and that narrows the lead down to just three. That's good as he hits both of his shots. And now down to a one possession game. Those foul shots, huge. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. 
They're up by two. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth. There's 25 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul right there. First free throw is good, and that makes it a three-point lead. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Looking to tie it up with a big triple. Now, let's see what they run here. This is not the time to panic. Work the offense. Shouldn't be a surprise. Randall did this in Kentucky. He likes the ball in his hands when it counts. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're ahead by one. 15 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Fifteen seconds left in the fourth quarter. And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. And the speed of Walker, I mean, it's sensational. He can switch gears and an active player on both feet. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game comes through big. Now they can put everything they have into guard against the three. Rose kicks to Bullock. Back to Rose. A three ball. Off target from downtown. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. First free throw is good, and that gives them a four-point cushion. So he gets them both, and it's a five-point game. Clutch, clutch free throws there. That should ensure they're going home with the W. And so it's the Boston Celtics with the W. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to win.